The sport management program at Virginia State University is probably the second largest on campus here at Virginia State. And our aim is, if I can use my mantra, and that is to get ready and stay ready. Get ready and what? Get ready and what? So we'd like to make it a full major. Right now it's just a minor, but we do have the graduate program. How was it that the event was so successful? So our goal is to prepare our students to secure gainful employment in the multi-billion dollar sport management industry. I'll give me another example of DNI. We try to provide experiences, hands-on, transformative experiences. Students are exposed to the industry early on from freshman year. Even working in the second role that I, I did at NASCAR, I've worked a lot. We bring in representatives from agencies here. I'd like to welcome our guests here from NASCAR. So students can interact with them. Just the ability to, to go fast is not good enough. You know what I'm saying? It's the ability to go fast and be accurate. Talk to them about uh, job opportunities and internships. They offered me a chance to come and work in their farm system and work up and, and hopefully make it into the majors. We have opportunities for our students to gain the type of exposure that they need to be competitive. Show me what you got, show me what you got. Sports management has had a partnership with NASCAR for about 12 years. Uh, the last two years we've invited student athletes to take part in a combine which helps to train pit crew members for NASCAR. We look for athletes. So students can interact with them. The attribute of is to have the speed, to have the hand-eye coordination, to have the agility, and also the biggest one, to be able to perform under pressure. Over, up. NASCAR's Drive for Diversity Pit Crew Development Program. That's an awesome program. Lenore, did you see the difference in the footwork? You see what I saw? And provides opportunities for students to compete for positions, ultimately for positions on race teams as members of pit crews. There's 70, 75, about 78 individuals have come through this program. 45 have actually got a job and 35 are currently still in it. It's just really a great to know that our students have such great opportunities to really break into areas, especially sport areas, that they never thought about. And so this is a wonderful relationship that we're going to keep on nurturing uh, with NASCAR as well. Every time I come back to campus, Dr. Bay, one of the first things he says to me is, welcome home. My relationship dates back six or seven years. Um, I was introduced to Virginia State University by Todd Parnell, uh, Parney with the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Uh, brought me down here for a symposium, and I, my first introduction was as a keynote speaker at the Spring Symposium. One of the things that, that you know, I've, I've talked about in my trips to Virginia State is I will take away much more uh, than I leave behind. Pat and I, because of Dr. Bay, went to Virginia State University a few years ago, and that started Pat having a special relationship. And I fell in love with the place, I fell in love with the people. And I saw it as an opportunity for us to uh, have a mutually beneficial relationship. I don't care what you're doing, where you're at, if you work hard and keep your nose clean, good things will happen. As I was uh, launching a diversity program for minor league baseball, and as an HBCU, I thought that this was one, uh, a good source, but two, a quality institution that was preparing its students for a future uh, at a level at which I found very attractive. And what am I going to have to invest in, on, in you and you invest on getting better at to move you into another category. During my time at Virginia State University, I actually had the opportunity to be engaged by minor league baseball. The good thing about um, Pat and my relationship is that from day one, before, I, before day one, day one was this day two years ago. But even before I came to the office, we sat down and we, we, we were having heart to hearts before then. Um, part of the diversity initiative, which had launched before I came on board, uh, was Pat O'Connor would take his time to visit different historically black colleges and Virginia State was on the list. Uh, so I was introduced to the game of minor league baseball during one of his campus visits. Pat, what you're telling these students uh, is really um, where the rubber hits the road. And Pat O'Connor gets it. It's truly a reciprocal relationship where uh, he is really genuinely given back to the university. It's very competitive. Every year and he comes back business. and speaks with our students. But from a standpoint of competition. He talks to them about preparing himself for the next phase of their life. I need the Jackie Robinsons of your generation. About being resilient. 
but I challenge you to do it. Truly a, a, a man of his word. We're going to talk about today's game. Uh, and then since we're going to... Well, it's a special relationship between the Flying Squirrels and Virginia State University, and I think that's because of the people. This is Ayana. Uh, she's from Virginia State University in the Sports Management Program, and uh, she's shadowing me today. I like to think we have special people here, and certainly at Virginia State University, the whole institution from administration to specifically uh, sports management department, mass comm department, those are some of the people that we've worked with in the past. And then the students. It's all about having what's in your heart, right? Yes. Like I wake up, I've been doing this 28 years, I wake up in the morning and the very first thing I want to do is come to work. Okay. One thing I like about the sport management program at Virginia State University is that I have been introduced to many different people such as Mr. Todd Parnell, who is the COO of the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Christian Arroyo, he just got called up to the big leagues. He's now, he's now a he big leaguer. He talked with me about how he got to where he was. It's hard to be in this business and like sleep. And he gave me a lot of advice. There's a bunch of different kinds of mediums that people can buy for advertising. About how I should take more internship jobs. Part of the thing about this business, as these two will attest to you right now, is it's a complete grind. Like, he walked with me around. We can use we can use this for pitching on rainy days like this. Also got to speak with Mr. Anthony Opperman. Honestly, I learned a lot of what I've known about baseball from a couple of internships. Well, we've really valued our relationship with Virginia State University and, and the sports management program there specifically. Uh, and I mean, for college students, it's really important to get some exposure to the process and, and what goes on in terms of setting up for games and, and kind of the behind the scenes look at what happens here because uh, you can hear people talk about it, but until you really experience it, uh, it's difficult to fully grasp and understand 